All right, I'll show the sugar bowl in a second here. It's like a challenge and kids get hurt on that thing. This thing actually spins around. And people fall off the edge.
You can't deny that there's a lot of pretty girls that hang out in Spirit Lake. All right, three fans help a little bit, but I'm still sweating. And I can't, I can't uh, charge this phone. This phone is, this phone is too hot to even touch right now. It's barely, it's just too hot. All right, so fans make a difference. Fans make a difference. They help a little bit. There's a buffer. Maybe a 15 to 20 degree buffer. You got all these nice houses along the lake. And the lake is quite active. In fact, somebody got pulled over on the lake. And then you got this. Could use a little painting, a little update. It's an okay shape. But it's, it's a contrast from the ones on the lake, from all the other ones around it. It's a holdout. I just snuck behind here just for a peek at some of the luxury. And it's pretty cool. Boats and geese. Looks like fake grass. Those rocks that you light on fire at night. Several stories of nice blocky, blocky uh, housing. Google Maps only said that this is a Higgins Museum. I had to come out here to see that it's a museum of money. Experience I was banking history. Hig and somebody tried to break the sign? Or was that maybe an accident? So I'm not sticking around for it to open. Higgins Museum. Here I was thinking that maybe they'll have some outdoor displays. Banks don't do that though. It's free, but I'm not sticking around. Today's Sunday, it's after 5.30. It may not even have opened for all I know. Tennis court off in the distance. They wouldn't put on display all the things they had to repossess. That'd be something. You know, I just realized this airport doesn't really have a fence. You just walk right on in. Hot wire a plane. I'm gonna take the coast walk. It's so hot today. The park has a, a forest wall. And then on this side we got a private tennis court. In grounds. For these nice houses. Along the lake. Can't, I can't see the lake though. <clears throat> vast thickness of this house is incredible two-car garage this house is huge and he wouldn't build a tell well three-car garage <clears throat> that house is huge like a lot of these in this area this this part of uh, the city doesn't isn't isn't a part of any through traffic you go out of your way to reach here. There's another blocky house What a unique design. That's the garage and then the rest is house So weird This is an actual house. I'm sure of it A lot of window It looks like a church like a live-in church All right, such a nice walk. I just want to point out this massive house too. They got all copper 
like drainage. It's all copper. It looks new or polished. It looks nice. But <laughs> pricey too. All shiny. All right, so this person over here has a garage door for boat parking. And it looks new, and I think that's the house. The house next to it might not be a part of it. We got a sea store for all these boats. <laughs> for customers only. Got a TV. <clears throat> you know, I've never been on a roofed one before. <clears throat> <laughs> I got a bar. This is a bar on a boat. It's actually rocking. This is kind of cool. There's another one I walked past. The Barefoot Barge. Are they just like... It's a floating bar. It's kind of neat. And then the barefoot bar does a dock hop for Memorial Day. <clears throat> and the fish house is this way. A lot of people pass through here. You know, it's, it seems kind of standard that all Walmarts have a uh, drainage area next to it. Seems pretty standard. I'm here picking weeds and I've grabbed the nap weed, this uh, horse, horse something, horse tail. Put some of that in there. Alfalfa. Just a couple of leaves of dandelion, some grass, and then this, I think it's a good one. I forget what it's called though, this this type. I think it's safe. It's I've put it in the past in my in my pots and haven't had any problems. A little late for the asparagus. I think it's too advanced. When it gets to the the bushy state, you're, you're not supposed to really mess with it. I see it here. I never found any asparagus this spring uh, in the early state, but that's okay. You guys made a mistake. This I might have seriously injured this thing. I put my my walking stick right on the end, I pushed down kind of hard. These affluent areas, they give away such nice stuff. I gotta wait for that truck to cross. Actually, I don't. Nice areas, they give away nice things every so often. This is along the lake. A lava lamp. And chairs and stuff. 
You don't see people giving away things like this at a ghetto. Vacuum might be broken. What is that thing? Am I looking at it? Oh my god. Yeah, there it is. Some kind of a trolley? Floating on the water. It's about the only thing on the lake here. <clears throat> I bet these grackles wish they had longer... Oh! Oh! Okay, get that one. But these grackles wish they had longer legs or, or webbed, webbed claws. They're trying to eat off of the, on the water, standing on it. <laughs> Having a little difficulty. Well, this nettle was extra stingy. It got stung on the... See, that little turtle fooled me because it looked like a piece of bark. <laughs> this is just a piece of bark. That's what the turtle looked like to me. And I just felt compelled to actually put the end of my walking stick on it and push a little bit and it was so soft. Uh, I, I might have squeezed the life out of it. It was moving, but it might have been death throes for all I know. All right, this is part of the reason why I wanted to walk around the lake is to reach the very opposite end of the lake for this fish hatchery. And let's see if I, what I can see inside. It says, welcome to Spirit Lakes fish, hat, fish Hatchery. Feel free to view our displays and hatchery operation. Locked, open. Well, I'm guessing the hatchery is two ponds right next to the lake. There's one, and then there's the other. And then this is uh, where they dump the, f or they, they transport the fish in these tanks. One's got two big things, and one's got four, same size. Just load them up on the top, I guess. Various switches and air canisters. No real radio communication. I guess that's not so necessary. You can't see any there. Nets, of course. Transporting them fish. Out of these ponds, I guess. Whatever they're growing here, I don't know. Two ponds next to the lake. Maybe this works more directly with the Great Lakes of Iowa. So maybe they're they're providing, maybe they're focused entirely on the Great Lakes of, of Iowa here. I pretty much walked around one of Iowa's Great Lakes. I think it might be four or five miles, something like that. You can actually walk around their Great Lake. One of the Great Lakes. I have never seen a landfill be labeled as a sanitary label, a sanitary landfill before. 
I have never seen this posted on a launch ramp area sign before. Boat noise law enforcement. I don't recall ever seeing that any at any ones I've been at. That's a unique warning. So there's people who get offended. Warning, Asian carp. I bet somebody at that hotel has complained. It's pretty nice looking. All right, I'm looking through the gl oh, through glass. What is this? Corn cob scoop. And uh, yeah, for corn cobs. It looks like it's some, oh, there's no, okay. It looks like it's some kind of chuck wagon. Looks like the, a very similar style to a chuck wagon. All right, I should have showed it, but I record, I re, uh, gathered grass on the edge of a farm field. Farm fields have a tendency to have nice grass. <clears throat> along this sidewalk which I think the sidewalk is new they planted this wheat and this the wheat the wheat is probably edible I could probably boil the seed heads and get some nutrition out of that it's fast growing stuff it's kind of easy to fall into the habits of boiling one not filling up this until I boil this and pour this liquid into this Unfortunately, the hardest part about this is actually pouring because I don't have a handle on this one. Got to use this. I have never seen a fish cleaning station like this before. This is this is something else. They're actually willing to collect the fish pieces in this in this container. The camping here is about $16 for non-electric. I don't think I'm willing to pay that. And they look like they keep up on the uh, populations here. I could just pull my car in and sleep in my car over the night if I'm willing to pay that money, but I'm not. I think I'll just run up to the next city north of here. It would be very nice to sleep here, but I don't know. It would be kind of risky to sleep here without paying and have this thing exposed, I guess. I wouldn't doubt they have a night patrol checking this. Seems very professional. Looks like we got an outdoor shower here. Probably swim in this great lake. It's so massive that it's, it's going to dilute any, any nastiness. I suspect that a person could walk around this massive lake. I didn't check the miles. It's probably about 10 miles. It's at least double the one I walked around yesterday. Very doable though in a day. If you're on top of it, don't take many rests. Came out of the trail here and it's back in, uh, to another camping site area. They got bathrooms and they're saying it's $14 straight up. For this <clears throat> and nobody's here it's pretty close to the road the road is somewhat busy yeah it's pretty professional looking there's likely a camp host and they probably patrol in the evening maybe if I snuck in that oh, I don't know they probably do it at 10 30 because that's when they say the curfew starts if you don't pay let me just say that there's no forms to fill out here I could uh, make the argument that I just I didn't see any forms oh my god site of marble cabin family killed by Indians 1857 really now they're killing us with or now the government's killing us with with $14 fees so this is the sites I'm about, I'm about here. Actually, this is Warble. 
Oh my God, there's a... Oh. All right, a bug went up my sleeve. So I'm at a massacre site in this part of Spirit Lake, the biggest, the biggest lake of the Great Lakes. And then they're not really marking the spots. I was at this hatchery, state access. Uh, um, okay, they're not really marking where the massacres happened. Oh, they're numbering them. Okay, two, three, one. I don't know if that's an order. The Grangers, the Gardeners, Mattocks, Howes got massacred. They're numbered, which is not easy to see. Five. So I'm at six all around the lake. Pretty nice looking lake and highly vegetated. Very vegetated. Very much. I mean, the, the settlers may have cut down a few trees to make their log cabins. But if, if this is the site of a massacre, they were... They had their cabin up on a hill, overlooking the, well, over the, the there was like over the lake, but, I mean, the for, the trees uh, were, are blocking the view. And how important was it for them to have a view of the lake in the pioneer days? So the these Great Lakes were attractive to both Indians and, well, and settlers and Indians. And there came to be a lot of tension and uh, well now we're at where we're at today a lot of nice homes built along the shore of these Great Lakes and you got to pay for camping which I don't see a form I might try to I might try to sleep on this massacre site it's kind of interesting I'm not in a rush to, to go go north very fast a lot of settlers no doubt came up on upon this maybe on their way to California and they're like you know what this is good enough clear huge clear lake and lots of vegetation Are they taking it away? I saw the truck pull these up, these these uh, frames up. 
I thought they were just going to put them in the water. <laughs> they're, they're taking off with them. Trolling. And those posts on the back, they drive those into the ground when they get uh, up to the shore. I saw them rise when they're before they left. Hmm. You looking in my car? What's the deal? We thought there was somebody that was sleeping in it. Yeah, I was sleeping in it. Yep. Yeah, you can't be camping out in here. That's well, what's that's the problem? That's, that was my theory. What? That was the theory. You have a theory about what? We cannot have camping in here unless you... You can park during the daytime. You can park, but you can't park overnight. It's not nighttime. Well, I know that. Are you going to be parking here overnight? I don't know, maybe. No, you won't. You guys will probably want to check tonight to make sure, huh? Somebody will. All right, let them know. These wealthy people are arguing about the boat. They got all that all that money and they gotta argue. Here's a reservation. And DNR puts it out, I believe. So DNR appears to have put out a lot of these reserved, I think that's for Memorial Weekend, I think, this coming weekend. There's quite a few now, reserved. I just wonder if the Indians were uh, like rowing around in their canoes on this lake, on the lakes, the Great Lakes, and looking for settlers to kill and just spotting them from the lakeside instead of uh like having to to traverse through the through the woods that uh, it would have been a lot easier to find settlers from a canoe on the wa in a big body of water than <clears throat> to, than to be uh trying to find a path through the the forest yeah so all right city hall is giving away LED bulbs. It's kind of, they're just sitting right there. I can't get in though. I don't need them anyway. Light bills? This is kind of rare, but I actually took the time to crush some oats. Crush everything. Even the Paint the uh, pumpkin seeds, and then I'll crush. I'll crush some sunflower seeds. I got room in here. I like to fill this at least halfway for the amount of water that I plan to to be boiling up for with the uh, the grass. And my my energy definitely is up with uh, this gruel. It's tasty and it brings my energy up. Oh, oats every day. Is that is that healthy? And then uh, of course. The two boilings of grass to use for water with the raisins. Also, for this type of cooking, it's absolutely essential to have a wide spoon. Those little spoons can't hit the bottom enough and you're going to risk burning. Oh, alright, I thought I was going to get bothered. Huh, cool.
Nope. Oh, he's turning around. Oh, I guess I am gonna get bothered. Nope, guess not. Hey, where is he? Up there? Cool. All right, fine. Oh, wait a second. I think I am getting bothered. Well, so the cops show up and get out of his car so quickly. They keep looking over here too. Yeah, they keep looking over here. I'll check them out. Well, that's a little troublesome. Hanging out in the park, minding my own business. And uh, those guys are all concerned about me. That's the guy who called. I get the impression that this cop is like going to approach me. Maybe he was calling back up. No, no, he's fine. No, we're fine. Just kind of checking me out a little bit. Oh, where's he going now? What is this, his first, first time harassing somebody? He looked like a young guy. Where'd he go? Huh. Hey, did anybody, did you guys must have taken that graffiti off that was on the front window? Did, I saw that this morning. I was going to say something, but it looks like you. Yeah. It yeah. was easy to take off. Well, uh, <laughs> the police chief.
chief said to use goop off. Okay. So I ran down and so bought I, some of this. Because I believe it came, uh, it happened overnight last night sometime. Because I was, I was here last night and then this morning, and I saw it there. And yeah, like, and it's over on. Uh, oh, it's all over. Down oh. Main Street. Yeah. Because I was say I saw this kid on a skateboard. And then a group of kids, two boys, two girls, or something. And that's all, I mean, it's pretty slow around here. Yeah. I kind of have my suspicions, you know. But uh, it came off easy. I With wonder. This goo, this goo it, off it did, because first I tried but, goo gone to try that, and that smeared. Oh. But, but it was it was regular spray paint, right? Yeah. Why it was white? It was a, white. So see, okay. when I got here, I had a call from the police for. From Lickfield on my cell phone at home, and I didn't get to it in time. Okay. And when I got here, I didn't come this way at all. Oh, and I walked okay. out to go down Main Street to put posters, and I came back, and the police chief left a message on the phone. Oh, okay. So I. It's pretty clear. It was pretty clear, and I feel I feel so bad. Like I should have noticed that or something. Yeah. I should have. I didn't hear any any uh, spraying sounds. When I was like here, because I was using the internet just across, I was across the street on, in the parking stall mm. area over there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's just that's not that does does it happen often here or? No. Okay, that's no, kind of wow. This is the first time that it's happened here. They have been experiencing a little bit of vandalism at the park. They have. Oh, the one at the swimming pool. No, no, oh. the one uh, North City Park that. Uh, there's there's a swimming the baseball are there baseball fields. No, that's oh. a different park. Yeah. Okay. That's the one right there. The one down, it's a couple, the block uh, down. And okay. You can see I'll have it. to look at, sure. I'll have to look at the map, I guess, yeah. closer. I, I'm, I'm, I left my car at the, the, near the swimming pool and then walked over here. Oh, okay. But, uh, okay. Yeah, but I was parked there earlier, so. Yeah, All right. yeah, our Wi-Fi so, is available just yeah, like any time. Yeah, it, it reaches my car just across the street. Yeah. So yeah. I just came in just to, I don't know, just to relax. For a little bit. Yeah. You know, this is somebody's house called Schreber's Orchard, and they claim to be open, but it looks like somebody's house. I don't think I just want to walk in, but they're inviting people. Like, is it zoned commercial? Well, it's been over an hour, and I had an extra amount of uh, burdock leaf in the teapot no problems extra bitter the taste is extra bitter but no ex at no uh i'm not feeling any adverse effects maybe i need more time god walking sticks are so pleasant to use at these open roads i'm leave this would be leaving the city i feel like i can almost just leave my car behind i never really got that strong feeling with my bicycle, I just, I really didn't like being hunched over the handlebars so much. That's why I don't use it that much. But with the walking sticks, man, I feel like I just want to go for miles and miles until I collapse sometimes. And yeah, one of those times is now. <laughs> I just want to get a close up of these cars stacked on each other. Somebody might come out to yell at me. This caught my attention. That's kind of amusing. I think somebody's coming. I better get out of their way. Yep, they're coming this way. They're backing up. Oh, they're going into the trailer. Oh, man. So their biggest, con oh my God, okay, there's more graffiti. So there's somebody going around graffito tagging. I was told that they, they graffito tagged the North Park. This is not it. What got my attention was the snow, no snowmobiles in Kids Corner Park. I thought that was a little amusing. There's a graffiti tagger in a small town. They're gonna be found quick.